what's up? This is Anthony with AGT Exotics, and today we're going to try to pair some teas for the very first time. And uh, what we have is our Postlithuria Metallica number two here, which uh, is a female, and our Postlithuria Metallica number one, which is a male. He just uh, molted about three weeks ago out to be a male, and um, our female here molted about the same time. And uh, so over the past six days or so I've been really fattening her up, um, giving her pretty much one dubia, a large adult male dubia a day. And uh, so she's eaten, I think, five in the last six days. And uh, she's been currently on a, uh, I think, 90-day molt cycle. So she's 20 days into molt, so, uh, and t since her last molt, or 25 days, so I'm sure there's plenty of time for the eggs to be laid. Well, at least I'm hoping. <laughs> All right, so I guess let's get into it. So the idea is we're going to remove the male's pork hark tube with him in it. And uh, yeah, let's move this little roof a lot over here. So I've been waiting for the last two days for the male to end up back in his cork bark. And uh, he just did this morning. I noticed he's in there. So we're going to do this pairing. It's like, can't, I don't want to move it too much because I uh, don't want to disturb him before I just remove him. But he's in his cork here. So the idea is I'm going to cap the top of the cork and lift it up and cap the bottom and then move the whole cork into the female enclosure and leave him in there for a little while. I'm going to try to film it and see what happens, but I read a lot and see a lot that uh, it takes a while and uh, a lot of times you don't get to see it. It may happen at night or whatever it is. So let's get into it. I'm really nervous about this. <laughs> so here's the female's enclosure. It's uh, growing really nice. I picked up on the watering and added more critters to help keep down the mold and it's worked very well. Uh, one of my subscribers uh, said I should add more water instead of less water and add more critters to eat the mold and it was very successful in doing that. So thank you very much. I'll have to look up his, to try to find his comment and thank him. Okay, so the idea is I'm going to set the cork in here, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. There's not much room. I was hoping I could do these things face to face, but they're completely two different sizes. And the way that I put this door on here, you really can't do it. Um, so they don't really ever use their water dishes. So I think I'm going to remove this water dish and put the cork right there in the front and uh, just keep up the spraying a little more than normal to keep it moist in there uh, for them to drink. But I, I pretty much miss the side wall like every other day anyway. Right up up there in their uh, homes and their tubes and stuff and they come right out and drink, so. All right, so I'm gonna try to set this camera up and get this going. Here's the cork also that I will be removing. All right, so first I'm gonna get her enclosure prepared, I guess. Let's remove the water dish. I have to, because it's really the only place I can put it. That won't be an issue. Oh, we got a little uh, guy right here drinking some water off the wall. They don't really like the water dishes that I use. But, uh, I can spray them and they'll straight drink. Petromorpheus Spinifer. I got three here. I'm hoping to put those together. This one's been staying on his bark a lot. No, this one's been staying on his bark a lot, so I'm thinking maybe it's a male. I don't see any uh, spermatophore, I think that's what it's called, sitting anywhere, but I don't really know how it works or how big it is or if it's even visible. <laughs> but all right. Uh, I think I said it right. I could have said it wrong. So please correct me. All right, so here we go. Excited on me. There we go. Oh, let's just pour this water dish out. There were some springtails in there. We don't want to 
let them dry out and pass away on me. Okay. So yeah, the area is pretty much ready to go. I'll just lean it up against the side here and uh, hopefully it works out. Okay, I guess I'm gonna close this back here. And start on this part. So let's remove his water dish as well. So we don't make a mess with that. That's always fun. All right. My first time ever putting two teas in the same enclosure that's not meant to be a communal, but a breeding project. Well, these are actually my first two teas that are ready to breed, so. First, bunch of firsts. Okay, so I have this right here. It's a napkin, basically. I'm going to clog the hole with it and use this lid from a little uh, ice cream container to clog the bottom. Uh, I figured this worked better seeing the top side angle. So let's clean away some webbing. Hopefully he stays in there. There we go. I don't know if the lighting's the best for you guys, but I'll try to stay out of it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Holes clogged, and I feel pretty safe. Grab the sides over here. And I'm gonna try to use this to lock the bottom without. Okay, the bottom is already blocked with substrate and stuff, so, all right, cool. All right, <laughs> as I start to shake and get nervous, let's close this one over here, make it easier, give me more room. Okay, so let's open hers back up. Let's see if I can get this in here with no trouble. All right, <laughs> so far so good. And he's in there. All right. That wasn't too bad. Um, okay, and I'm going to miss the enclosure pretty good. Okay, so my camera died on me, but you dismissed me misting the enclosure. So I sprayed the walls down pretty, pretty well and uh, made it nice and wet in there. Adds a bunch of humidity. And uh, so, yeah, they're ready to go do their thing. He's in his little cork bark tube, and she's behind hers back there and her web sock deal going on. Um, so I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this uh, enclosure and project here, and uh, I will film whatever I can. Um, we'll most likely break this into a few parts, and uh, hopefully we'll get some footage of some breeding action. And um, so I, after uh, I pair them and I can prove there was a, a breeding, I will uh, work on getting him shipped out and uh, get him on the road and see if uh, we can get some, uh, some breeding projects for other people going. All right, so hopefully I'll see you guys soon with some action. I'm just really loving the way this enclosure looks right now. It's filled in nicely. I keep looking at it through the lens here going, wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, see you guys. So just a quick update. Uh, it's been about two hours or so since I put them together. Um, I just went to the store and came back and uh, both of them are kind of aiming towards each other. So I don't know if he was tapping or whatnot, but uh, you can kind of see his feet to the top of his tube there and you can see her feet uh, kind of there the middle top where she was coming forward all right really nothing going on so I'll see you a little later all right so my Metallicas are tapping on each other here <laughs> Got the female here, she's tapping a lot. Okay, here's the male. Oh, here we go. 
She's being receptive. Uh, I'm gonna try to just turn on some lighting here. <laughs> So I was over there watching a movie on Netflix, and I heard this weird tapping four or five times in a row, and here we are. That's him going off. Too zoomed in. Oh, I don't know where he's going. Is he trying to bring her back to her web? Because he's going straight for her home. This is pretty darn awesome. I'm going to try to get some real lighting here from a distance. Oh, I just shook the whole cabinet. There we go. It's still pretty horrible, but... Here we go. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. So this is, I think, the second night that he's been in there. hasn't quite got the right angle. <laughs> That's a funny dance. It's kind of chasing her. There we go. She's getting a bit nervous there. She kind of ran off. tapping away.
Sorry about the lighting, but I really don't want to disturb them. It's like a temp, like 10. <laughs> nah, not 10. It's like 6, I think. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna let her do it. Now let him do it. Oh, yeah! He got her. <laughs> Very cool. That was awesome. He poked her once. He stuck it in. <laughs> he put it in there and ran. Or she ran. Good job, dude. Good job. Oh. <laughs> I guess they might do this a bunch. <laughs> She's done. She's kind of going back to her hide. It's pretty far back there. Oh, she's coming back again. He's still drumming away, so we might get some more action. Uh, I did have this card empty on this here, but uh, I filled it up again earlier filming some stuff. So I may have to do something about this full card. I only have 10 minutes left of footage. She does look like she's going back to her hide though. She just didn't. She just wasn't uh, familiar with the route, I think. She's, she, I've never seen her on that side of the enclosure, actually, that she's on right now, on the right side. She spends all of her time on the left side, behind the, the tall plants. <laughs> 